Hey kids, you want to see how the flowers turn to fruit on fruit trees? Come over here and take a look. So first of all, wait here quietly and look up here and you'll see the bees. See if you can see any bees. See it over there? The bees go around and they love to drink and eat from the flowers. This is a cherry tree. So you know how a cherry looks? Come look. You know how a cherry has these See the stems? You know how a cherry has stems? Each one of these flowers is gonna be a cherry that you eat. And the seed's gonna be in the middle of it. So those are all cherries that in another month or so, we'll come out and pick them. And I wish you were here to get to taste them. But if we have a really good crop this year, we'll put some in the store. Come over here. So far it's looking good. But the reason I came out here today was Unexpectedly, we had a few nights that went down to freezing, so we had a frost. And sometimes if you have a frost where it gets really cold, after your trees have bloomed, you might lose the bloom, which would mean that we'd lose the fruit. We don't wanna lose the fruit, because just like chickens give us eggs every day, the cherry tree only gives us cherries once a year. So we're excited when we get a good blossom like this. Come up close again and you can see. See all these little stems? That's gonna be a cluster of cherries. And all these little flowers, those are actually gonna be the red, juicy, yummy fruit. So it's important that you take care of your trees. Like in the winter, we prune them. We cut them back so that we get a good growth. Come look how we cut them back. You cut out the middle so that you can keep air flowing through it so you don't end up with the tree being too tight so you can't get any air through there. Like, you can't breathe. And you start, you can get moldy fruit, you can get diseases. See all this? This is new growth. These are future branches. You see this growing on here? Because we've trimmed off a lot of the old branches. It's kind of like, you know, we get pruned as people too. There are times where we need to separate or have cut away from us the things that are no longer working for us in order so we can grow into healthier, happier people. The same thing's true in nature. Pretty much everything you find in nature is true for us. That's why living close to nature it's really like living close to God because everywhere I look, I see the miracle of creation. Even when I look at people, I see, here's a bee, here's a bee. There's a miraculous creation in every person. Right here, Mariana, see the bee? He's going in the center of that flower and he's drinking. See that? Look at that. And you know what that bee's going to do? He's going to take the pollen, the juice from that flower, and he's going to make honey for us. One day we'll go back and show you our beehives. And we have honey in the store that comes from our farm. Isn't it miraculous how it all works together? So notice he goes from flower to flower. Pretty amazing, right? And then he's gonna fly back to the hive and he's gonna drop that juice that he has. He's gonna get it evaporated. He's gonna put it in a little honeycomb. And in the springtime, we're able to get some of that honey from the hive and eat it like honey. Like, it's crazy. We've just been out here a few minutes and look at all the mir miracles that are happening all around us. So remember, when you look at people, you can see the perfection of creation because whether you know it or not, every single one of you is perfectly created. Just like every one of these flowers is perfectly created, that bee is perfectly created, these new little branches are perfectly created, and it's all working together for our good. How amazing is that? Love you. Have a good day.